Spock Max, Chris from the Hagen Factory. So this week's video, the 350 valves at the first run, we had a lot of success, so let's have a look at the video. Okay, as you just saw at the start of the video, the old man on the 350 valve set Hagen. First test run, it was fantastic. Went really well, but we came home with a punch out, the wrong gearing, uh, it was running a bit rich, and the fuel tap was leaking. So we've got a few jobs to do, but this is the start of the development on this thing. And the other thing, over the day, it just started to break down a bit, the ignition wise. Um, it's running the old BTH Magneto, which hasn't been reconditioned or anything like that, just one out of stock. So what I've decided to do is I've decided to put the track spark ignition on it, which I've got here. This was for the Weslake. Uh, we'll still use it on the Weslake, but we'll share it between two bikes. And we've got a distributor here, which was a factory fitment on the old man's Thruxton. So the old man converted that back to just the uh, Magneto. And he's never used this before, but apparently they start a bit easier and all that sort of stuff. So we'll give this a go. Uh, hopefully that'll sort out the ignition side of it. But we've had to make a few different mounts for this box up here and to fit it in. So we'll go through that in the video. Uh, but other than that, I think it should be fantastic. So I decided to build a box that locks in in between the engine plates. The engine plates are a bit skinny. I can't get the um, track spark ignition to sit in between the plates. So I've decided to make a bracket. Now, um, the gearing issue. So we had 41 teeth on the back. I can't remember what we had on the front. Might have been 15 or 16. It was geared to do about 100 mile an hour for the Morgan Mile, which is pretty hard on the old 350. So we're gonna go from 41 to 47 at the moment on this blank. So I've got to machine the center out of this blank and fit her up. Uh, with all that done together, hopefully, this bike will just get quicker and quicker. But it did seem to go well. The old man reckons that he was doing about 80, 85 mile an hour down the paddock at one stage, and I'm sure he was. He was absolutely flying, and I didn't know whether he was gonna pull up on his way back. But uh, we are getting there. It's been a lot of hard work, but it, uh, it's well worth it. So we're getting to the really good side of it now. Right, hey, same as every other week. If you like what you see, like, subscribe, tell your friends, tell everybody, let's bring Hagen's back.